Call of Duty Ghost. What's going on, everybody? Here we are with Call of Duty Ghost. Um, starting off for, uh, we are sitting at 302 people that are still playing this game. And this is nine years later. I know it says the video says 10 years, but this is actually nine years later. We got one more year to go. Whether or not Call of Duty Ghost service will hold up for another year, it's questionable. But if it does, then hey. Um, I just want to say Call of Duty Ghost was my top two favorite Call of Duties up there with Modern Warfare 3. Mainly because Call of Duty Ghost went with a whole different path as far as the whole class setups versus any other Call of Duty. Where um, there's a whole bunch of attachments for your guns that all did different things that affected your movement speed, your play style. Pretty much everything you do in the game was solely based on the attachments you have on your weapon. Now with Call of Duty Ghost... Um, it's mainly focusing on your perks, your perks control everything that you do, and you can build your weapon however you need it to be, whether you want to be stronger or just more versatile. Uh, and then there's also guns that come equipped with certain attachments. There's guns that come equipped with silencers like the Honey Badger. Honey Badger is probably one of the, my favorite guns in the game. Um, as you can see, I am rank 9. I have uh, downloaded this game and played it. A few months back before and then now I'm revisiting it for this video here uh, I do want to say if you are looking to get Call of Duty Ghost it, uh, it's on sale right now and it's the deluxe version of it on sale I believe I got it for like ten dollars um, I don't remember the price I bought it for uh, I believe it, it, was, it was something like ten it was no no higher than twenty dollars so if you want to revisit a game little nostalgia go ahead and Go get it right now for oh like less than 20 God. bucks, and it's the deluxe version, so there you are. Uh, there is no, the original version does not exist in the PlayStation Store, so I'm not sure that. how that works, but hey. Um, yeah, back to what I was saying, let's see. Oh yeah, so as you can see, when we get into a Team Deathmatch, there's a 153, 159, sorry, people playing Team Deathmatch, and that's where the majority of our players are. There is a solo player playing affected. Not sure how he's doing that, but hey, he's in there. He's hoping that somebody was going to join him, so somebody give him company. And to the maps of Call of Duty Ghosts, Call of Duty Ghosts has some very good maps. So much nostalgia and so much there's so much you could interact with, which has made the game even more better. Unfortunately, uh, one of the games that I one of the maps I don't like the least don't like. Don't like the least. Don't like the most is Stonehaven, which is the map that we do get. For some reason, everybody wants to play Stonehaven. So we get into our first match, and honestly, I did not too well. I tried out a uh, sniper class for the first run, and it just didn't go my way. But as you see, I do switch up when we get into another match. I do use like the honey badger, something like that, and I do get some pretty, pretty, uh, pretty decent kills and pretty decent uh, clips. Um, starting off, the quality of the game, uh, for the most part, it feels jittery. Like it just, it's hard to, hard to see, hard to focus. Just like after playing so many other games with higher quality, dropping down to something like this is like just little. It hurts your eyes a little bit. Um, other than that, the game itself held up pretty good. As you can see, I get melted by this guy with a shotgun, and the way he's just sprinting around, and then the shotgun he's using is pretty good shotgun, especially when he use it in his playstyle. Hey, he's streaming, you can see streaming, streaming. Every time I run, pretty much every time that I run into him, he kills me almost every time. So, <laughs> yeah, that holds up. Uh, other than the playthrough, the only thing I didn't like was uh, the low sprinting. Low sprinting was like it was yeah. insane. It was bug like as you can see, I, I had to keep walking everywhere because I run out of sprint very quick. Uh, another thing that I do eventually get to pick up is the field upgrades. Field upgrades, if you complete the task, you get a care package. And on top of that, uh, it keeps going. So on top of that, it keeps going. So if you complete the task that it gives you, it's a random task. Either get a kill, which is secondary, get a, humiliate somebody, um, get a headshot, something like that. Get three kills, non-kill streak kills. There's a reason why. 
and then it will give you just like a care package. You get a random item out of it. I don't know. And as you see, I did die to somebody that's using a pornographic site. That's why this map, this story, hey guys, I got my first kill. That's why this map wasn't loved as much. It's because there's a big open space, and all you really did was get sniped at. It was kind of hard to compete with that. It's like as you can see, it took that was actually my first kill of the game. It feels weird. Um. It, it took a little time to register after I shot the bullet, so I couldn't really tell if I actually killed it until like five seconds after I walked away. And that that just happens throughout this game, just like right there. And I like I shot that guy in the foot. Like that was a that was like a leg shot. And he died. So I'm not really sure how the whole hitbox thing works. I'm not really complaining because you know I got the kills. Um, so we're gonna move on from this map into a more interesting. Okay, the next map that we get is Octane, and I do want to mention that uh, you do get into matches pretty quickly on Call of Duty Ghosts, and that is because Call of Duty Ghosts is back in the era where. They didn't switch up the lobbies, so you would play with the same, or basically you play with the same group each match, like the same. They might have switched up the teams a little bit, but generally you will play with the same uh, lobby that you played before, versus the new Call of Duty where it basically you find a new lobby every after every match. So as you can see, if you look at the kill fee, it's the same people I played with on Stormhaven. Um, back to this map, Octane. Love the map. It was a great map for Infected. Speaking of Infected, Infected was one of my favorite game modes in this game. Um, Infected across any Call of Duty were always really good, especially Modern Warfare 3 and uh, this game here. Um, I forgot what I was doing here. Oh, I was trying to switch to Tactical, but it was it was already on Tactical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was a little confused about that. Uh. P talking about uh, kill streaks, the SATCOM instead of a uh, plane flying around, it, uh, the SATCOM was something that on the ground, and the more you had, the more pings you would get, and the more accurate the uh, the position of the enemy would be, which I thought was pretty cool. The attack dog, I remember the attack dog being a lot more stronger and useful. Um, as you can see later on in the video, is the every time I use my attack dog, I don't get any kills with him. He dies pretty quickly. Um, and as you can see, I do kill attack dog myself, and they die pretty quickly. I just remember the attack dog as being a lot more, more scarier, more, more intimidating and shit. Like you could put a whole clip into attack dog and it's gonna die. But a Call of Duty Ghost was another game where everybody really, really died quickly, especially with this honey badger. Honey badger was definitely my favorite gun. Hello, And uh yeah, I don't think I I did not get the I guess the diamond version or the uh I'm not sure what it's called, but the you know, the, the top tier camo. I didn't really grind camos and call of duty goes until like the very end. And by that time it was uh already too late. So I kinda quit that. Nothing I will be starting I will be doing the campaign to get uh, the plat trophy for this, and I will make a video on getting Cold Eagles plat. They the my only thing dog, that yeah. I'm worried about is the alien section of Cold Eagles. Ghost. And as you know, the alien section of Cold Eagles Ghost is basically the zombies for Black Ops. And for some reason, the aliens were... The game mode itself was super, super hard. Much harder than any other... Special Ops or Zombie type of modes in a game that we've had, and it was just, for that trophy, you have to beat the whole thing and then do certain tasks within it, so it shouldn't, it's going to take longer than it's, than it's going to be, longer than it should be, but we're going to get through it. Alright, I just wanted to cut to the video here. This map is called Prison Break. If some you don't know, Prison Break was one of the one of the great greatest maps. Um, it was definitely a great map for Michael Myers. Anybody who doesn't know, or who even if you do know, um, playing Michael Myers on Call of Duty Ghost was like like basically the peak. The, 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 the one hunter and then uh, versus the survivors, all that. And when we got to Call of Duty Ghost, it kind of turned into a Why whole Michael Ghost? Myers game because you can actually do a whole Ooh, bunch I of. This map. Oh my God, basically, do as much as you could to look like 
a just like a uh, like a hunter, like a nigga just sitting up there basically make hunt. make yourself look like Michael Myers, and you could just run around with a knife, and oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. and it was like it, Prison Break was a great bath because it was so much spots that you could choose to hide in, and it was very hard to like actually find somebody. And it was a, it was a decent sized map, not too big, not too not too small, um, but yeah. Most games of Michael Myers was definitely played on Prison Break. Uh, I, remember you had to I can't think of any others at the moment, but well, well, I'll get, get to it. But yeah, uh, uh, getting a whole bunch of a whole bunch of friends like and just hopping on like private match to play Michael Myers. Yeah, yeah, back then, it was just an amazing yeah. time, and like I, I, I keep telling myself that I wish that I could go back in time and revisit these moments because it was just playing this game again. It was just so nostalgic. Just the time back then. Having fun back back when I was like trash at Call of Duty. <laughs> um, it was still fun. Like ride chills, knife, and like Call of Duty Ghost was one of the games where you could have a knife and a riot shield, or you could take off certain weapons and just have no gun at all. It was that and, and Bug Ops 2 that really started that, uh, and it was just a great moment in the career because like. Just having running around with a knife itself is just like peak, uh -huh. and then, like I said, just spending time with friends Damn, playing games like this. So uh, just it was just so much right fun, back, and right like back, right back, right you don't right have back. that as Come much on, anymore uh, with the newer Call of Duties. It's just shit. it's just so much <laughs> different, and it's just not the same. Yeah, bro, I um, that one. Not saying that you can't yeah, do it. It's just necessarily oh, that it just oh, doesn't feel crazy. the same I'm as so sorry, Kimani, this Call of Duty here. Back to the graphics. The graphics. Hold up pretty well. Uh, once you see when you get close enough to a person, oh, wow. you really see like the, the difference in the graphics. Oh, man, I <laughs> pretty funny. Michael Myers um, in this game. Get but we just never get them pistols were oddly strong in this call. I didn't realize what how strong pistols were. Right like the like, killed him in like four four or five shots. But yeah, uh, it was this game and then the next game where I like I peaked in this like whole free running Call of Duty. Uh, hey, got man, first place up in, for, in both, both matches. So, anyway, moving on to the last. So, right, here we are with Strike Zone, and Strike Zone really held its spot as a new town for um, Black Ops. Um, and as you know, if you were to get a nuke on Strike Zone, it would destroy the map. Play playable, it'll make, it'll make it a whole different playable map. Um, <laughs> the whole area gets destroyed, there's new paths, new openings, it's Still basically a whole different badges. map. Uh, oh, don't forget about Freefall. Free, no, Freefall was another good map, man, another new ta nuke town style map, very small, very close quarters type or, or, or deal. Um, yeah, this, uh, there's not much else, like, this was a good game for me, uh, as you can see later on, and, uh, like I said, back to the dogs, the dogs used to be so much better, I remember them being so much better, I don't know what happened to them, but, hey, um, the Maniac, I forgot about the Maniac, uh, Maniac is one of my kill streaks here, uh, basically a juggernaut, a fast juggernaut that runs with a knife, and it takes a lot of damage to kill him, so, Tried to bringing all that back, like I said, Holy <laughs> Ghost, one of my favorite games, top two. I felt like it should got a, it should have got more love than it did. Um, I hope, hopefully, they do some sort of remaster and bring this back. Hopefully, the community will love it again as much as I did. There are people out there who did enjoy this game, as I did, um, but the, it's just the majority of them. Just yeah, didn't so like the game itself. I, they, they mainly didn't like well, it because I it was a difference between any other Call of Duty, like the whole like I said, what I enjoyed mainly everybody else disliked the whole different way the class setups were and just it just got so much hate. Like I just can't get over it. It got too much hate. It was definitely one of my favorites. Call of Duty goes demon. But to all y'all Call of Duty Ghost fans, I'm here with you. Thank you for joining. Thank you for watching. And have a good day. Bro, this nigga talking about the game you tried to spin, my nigga. You gonna hit me. I literally filled your spot. Oh my god. I swear to god, I'm invisible. You niggas get so tunnel vision. Y'all just imagine my character disappears from the court.
And I got my fucking maniac. <laughs> Yo, hit me a moment. Damn. The pass. Dumbass. I tried to give it to Devin. Dude. Start clipping these niggas, y'all. Oh yeah, that AI 